Hi friends, it's Jane from Sustain My Craft Habit, and I'm here at our family cottage, the Greystone Beach Cottage, and we're about to start building an outdoor shower. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So this is our family cottage, which we call the Greystone Beach Cottage, and if you've been following along our blog, Sustain My Craft Habit, as well as here on our YouTube channel, you may know that we've been doing some renovations inside the cottage over the last couple months. So now, just before the winter, we've decided to uh, make a little addition outside. The cottage is pretty small inside, and we are fortunate to be right on the shores of Lake Huron. It's very beachy and uh, sandy, which is wonderful, but when the kids come up, they're typically full of sand, which we don't like to traipse inside to get it into uh, not just the mess that it makes on the floor, but also in the plumbing system. We don't want to overwhelm it with a lot of water in the summer. So this outdoor shower has been on our to-do list for a while. We're going to take you through step-by-step step, kind of how we are making the shower. We're planning to make it about four feet by six feet in the end. So it's pretty large and we'll see how it all turns out. So the first part of our planning process was deciding where we were going to put the shower. So if you can see here, this is the cottage, this is the back patio, and just there on the wall is where the water hose is, so we'll probably be using that as the water supply for the shower. So if you can see way over there, under that big tall tree, it's called a catalpa, just in case you wanted to know, um, that's where we decided to start digging. One option was in behind the cottage, but um, we also have the issue that there's a waterway along the side of the cottage that the water comes up from. There's a bunch of farm land in behind the cottage. So we didn't want our outdoor shower to get washed away in the springtime when all the water uh, comes and all the snow melts. Okay, so we are about to start digging the foundation and for the full project plans, we invite you to visit sustainmycrafthabit.com. We'll leave a link for it down in the profile or in the description. Um, we considered a few different options for the foundation of our shower. Uh, one option was to cement a whole pad, a four by six pad in which we could then insert the posts. Uh, that was a good option for a while, but then we thought that in terms of the water coming down and having somewhere to drain, that maybe a different option would be better. So I think what we're going to go with now are our paving uh, stones. We purchased 16 by 16 inch paving stones that will lay down. Uh, we purchased decking cement blocks for the corners in which the posts are going to be put up. So in this way we don't need to mix the cement and have the enough time to let it all cure before we continue because we're hoping to get as much of it done in one day as we can. So my wonderful husband and our dad are helping us with this uh, shower, outdoor shower project and they're kind of reluctant to be in the video so we'll catch them in a little bit but um, I just wanted to show you how we're starting. The idea was to build the outdoor shower so that it goes parallel to the side of the cottage. I mean one option was to put it on a bit of an angle which I would have liked but apparently this uh, is was voted on. Um, so my husband just drew a line for reference and then started measuring out the 4 by 6 square and marked it just with uh, marking paint. So now in this next section we're just going to dig it out. So we've dug out about half of our pit and uh, since the yard slopes quite a bit from the tree to the end where we want our outdoor shower to be, we needed to dig a little bit deeper on this end and now we've just placed our deck blocks on two sides and the 2x4 in and we're checking to see that it's all level. We do at the end want there to be a little bit of a slope just so that the water will flow off ideally to the side of the property and not into the yard. Okay. We also don't want the floor of the shower to be right at ground level on that end because we want the water to flow off of it, not to come pulling back. So we're going to now keep digging out this way a little bit and continue on.
Okay, so it took a little longer than we anticipated, but we have got our four deck posts, post five, <laughs> five in the ground. Uh, we have five because over here is where the door is going to be. So we're going to have an opening right in this area. So this took a long time because, as I mentioned before, it is... Uh, in downward inclined slope but we wanted to make sure that our floor will be level as demonstrated by my helpful father so um, we have accomplished that finally and now we are good to go we are bringing the gravel and we're going to fill the space now with gravel up to this line we have some helpers stomping down the Tamping down the gravel. <laughs> faster, faster, people. <laughs> Ooga chaka, Ooga chaka, Ooga chaka. <laughs> okay, so now we've laid down the sand and leveled it as much as we could. And we are laying down. We bought six of these 16 by 16 inch paving stones and we are laying them in the center. See our helpers here <laughs> um, and then we will space them out to see how it's if it's gonna fit properly so what do you think my girls works <laughs> they approve okay so it's about four o'clock in the afternoon right now it's actually been a really hot day we're all kind of tired I think we were, I was ambitious that we would get it all done today, but it's not going to happen. But we did manage to lay out the six paving stones, roughly how they're going to be. Uh, we're not quite sure how we're going to finish the floor yet, so it's going to be a bit of a surprise. Either we're going to buy some more pavers to fill the ground, which will actually involve cutting out some of the corners, or we may leave it as is and fill it with some beach stones. So we're not sure, we may try both and see which we like better, but we'll keep you tuned. Um, for today, we're going to uh, put in the posts and anchor them around the top with the two by fours. Uh, and then we'll probably anchor them around the bottom as well. And that'll be it for today. We actually, the cottage here is about two and a half hours from where we live near Toronto. So we have to head back with the kids and the school tomorrow. And then next weekend, Sonia will come with her husband to finish it all. So they'll show you the rest of it. Okay, so we started by cutting down our 4 by 4s to mm. 7 feet high. <laughs> and then we measured from the top of each post 2 inches because we're going to put one of those uh, their fence caps on each of the tops, top posts. Then we measured the length of the space and cut two by fours at 45 degrees so that when they come together at the top they formed a nice join. Screwing the starter of the wall. Centering it in between the... One inch. Four, 
one, one inch. inch on either side. But that's center, center isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Center of the four post. by four yeah. post. <laughs> the center of the post, yeah. So crew number two has finished putting down the patio stones and we've spaced them uh, one inch apart each one made sure that they were all level and notched the corners uh, to to fit around the four by four posts and then now we've started to uh, put the fence boards onto the frame and we put one starter board along the the longer side of the shower so that it's um, It's gonna be ha it's gonna have some more support We won't need to do this on the other Three sides, but it's, it's important for this one side. That's five feet long so this starter board is placed a foot 12 inches above the deck block. So we got a bin full of rocks that we collected from the beach and small little ones that we're going to fill in um, the crack with. So hopefully we have enough, but we'll see. We might have to go back down and get some more. Okay, so our outdoor shower is nearly completed. We just have a few little finishing touches for it. So we wanted to do a quick run through of the materials that we ended up using for the project. We ended up getting 12 of these 16 by 16 paver stones and some of them we had to cut around the posts. We got five four by four posts that in the end were cut down to seven feet high, as well as five deck blocks. We framed the upper perimeter of the shower with two by fours to keep the posts in place, and then assembled the one by six boards, fencing boards all around and these were assembled, uh, staggered, mounted to two by twos. These were actually cut from two by fours in half, mounted to the midsection of the four by four posts. The fence boards were attached starting down here and alternating outside and inside such that there are two and a half inch gaps. So you can see, although you can't see through it from the outside, 
you can see the gaps inside which will provide lots of great airflow um, to let the wood dry over time. So this process was repeated all the way around until we got to the top. And then we installed fence post caps to the top and this is important so that the water when it's raining won't fall right into your posts and start to rot away at the wood. It also looks really cute. I should also mention that we installed this 2x2 two two post along the mid part of the long wall of the shower because without it the fence boards were bowing in towards each other so this provided another spot uh, upon which we could secure the fence boards. We finished the flooring section with these beach stones pebbles just inserted in between the pavers and then right now on the outside is just gravel but we will likely fill it in over time with larger stones and then um, maybe even sow some grass around. Okay so that is the gist of our outdoor shower enclosure. You can see that we've turned the uh, doorway away from the house and so for now we're not going to attach a door because we're kind of facing this very private hedge but we could later add a door or even a simply a rod with a shower curtain. We've added a few little finishing touches inside including uh, some hooks, some simple hooks for the towels as well as these simple corner shelves that are removable as well as our little hand lettered sign in use and vacant. So now that our shower enclosure is finished, our plan is to attach the water source. Uh, come spring, it's fall now, so there's not going to be much use for it um, for the next couple seasons. But come spring, our plan is to either purchase an outdoor um, shower ki plumbing kit and attach it here, or our other option is to attach a hose um, and or uh, buy one of those outdoor camping um, kits that's basically a black bag that heats up using um, the sunlight. So uh, for now this is what we've accomplished and we're looking forward to using it in the summer. Thanks so much for watching our video. For the full project plan please visit us at sustainmycrafthabit.com. If you have any questions leave a comment below um, and as usual if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more nature-inspired DIY, craft, and home decor ideas. Thanks so much, bye.